welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kyla and holy moly, this is a hodgepodge of a TBR. You will see there are books literally from like every genre possible, at least the genres that I read. I am totally going into this month like a mood reader. I have a bunch of books that I'm like super excited about. I don't know how many of them I'm actually going to get to, but I have quite the list and I'm like really excited about all of them. So we're just gonna have to see what happens and where my mood takes me. I've been kind of structured the past couple of months of what I've been reading, so I'm excited just to like go ham this month and really just like let the book speak to me. I do have some video plans and a readathon this month, which I will also share with you. And yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So kicking things off for book clubs, reading plans, readathons, etc. I will be reading The Fury by Alex Michaelitis this month for the book troop. I have been holding on to this since it came out. I mean, it's only been like, what, two months? But like holding on to it, really trying just not to look at it because it's getting such good reviews. And I am actually kind of nervous about it because I'm not gonna lie, me and Alex Michaelitis, like, it's not always been a fun time, okay? The Silent Patient was good. It was just okay for me. I know, I'm in the minority for that one. It's fine. I liked The Maidens. I enjoyed like the really messed up friend group of it all. So like I was nervous to go into another one of his books because I'm like, I just don't know. This is gonna be like a third time and we'll see what happens, but it's getting such good reviews. So it makes me like nervous, but I'm also so now just that much more excited to read it and it's finally gonna happen this month. All I know about this is that we are following a movie star and there's something about they're going to like a Greek island. Do I need to know anything more? No. No, 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 no. You're gonna give me island vibes and you're gonna give me following a movie star. It's fine. I'm here. We're along for the ride. I cannot wait. And then Gabby is also hosting another round of the Screaming Color Readathon. And if you don't know what that is, it's a readathon that she holds on her Patreon. It's over just a weekend long, so a quick 48 hour readathon, which honestly I love. I love when they're short and sweet, but they are so fun because we do trivia, there's reading sprints like all day long. It's just a good time to like hang out with the community, make friends, be a little competitive because we all are, especially when it comes to the trivia and then read some books. And the only prompt for the readathon is to read books with the certain color on the title, it's a screaming color. And this round it is yellow. So I have a bunch of books that I could potentially read for this. I do know that I will be reading Roller Girl, which is a graphic novel about a girl who likes roller skates. <laughs> know anything about it. I saw this at a secondhand store and I absolutely love the roller derby. Like fun fact, I just find it so fascinating. Brutal, but so fascinating. I've actually gone to see a roller derby live once for my birthday and it was so much fun. But I just love the concept of the roller derby. Anyways, I saw this. I believe this is a middle grade, but I was like, I need, I need it. Also, I used to have blue hair. In case you didn't know, I used to have blue hair. So like this was just screaming to me and it's got bright yellow on the cover. So I'm excited to get to this one. I feel like graphic novels are perfect for quick readathons. So I also got out Paper Girls from the library. And yes, there is a little bit of yellow down here. So it counts. Doesn't matter where it is on the cover, it counts. So I'm gonna be reading the first volume of Paper Girls. All I know about this is that it gives Stranger Things vibes and like you just need you don't need to say anything else. I love Stranger Things, I love it. So I am excited for this one. And then for books, I literally just made a list of books that have yellow on the cover that I've been wanting to read. I don't know which ones I'm gonna end up reading. So these are just all potentials. The first one is Dial A for Aunties by Jessie Q. Sutanto. This is a cozy mystery and I've heard nothing but good things. I have yet to read it. it has yellow literally threw up on the cover. <laughs> so 
know it's perfect and I love cozy mysteries I feel like this year I'm definitely in my cozy mystery era so I feel like this will be fun and also I feel like cozy mysteries are really quick to read and that's important when a readathon is only 48 hours so we have that one I also would love to read chlorine by Jade Song this is a YA I believe don't quote me on that it could be adult I believe it's YA though horror and I've heard nothing but incredible things about this book everyone that I know that has read it has rated it so highly and I do have the audiobook for this one so I feel like I could listen while doing other things that weekend and bang out an audiobook which would be amazing I've heard it's incredible it's got yellow on the cover so it works and then I also would love to read everyone on this train is a suspect which is the sequel to everyone in my family has killed someone this one also has yellow on the cover so it definitely fits also a bit of a cozy mystery but it's definitely a little bit more like satire and just more on like the mystery side than it is cozy but something about it I mean it's British so that automatically like in my mind makes it cozy but I don't know if I would actually categorize this as cozy and it's probably it's just a murder mystery okay that's really what it is but like it's British, so it's cozy to me. This one has been getting mixed reviews, but I still would love to read it. I loved the first one, the way it was told, the British satire, but also just like the directness and breaking that fourth wall. It was done so incredibly well, and I have a feeling that this one is definitely going to continue that pattern. This one follows a bunch of authors who are on a train and someone gets murdered, so it's giving a little bit of like Agatha Christie, but I'm hoping it doesn't go like really in that direction and that they take like their own spin on it regardless I'm really excited it's on my most anticipated of the year list so I would definitely love to get to it and then the last one is only if you're lucky by Stacey Willingham I'm not gonna lie whenever I see a Stacey Willingham cover I'm like no this is not it these covers are hideous the cover <laughs> for this is really ugly I'm sorry it is it's ugly um but it's got yellow on it so it works but something about her cover style makes me always think that I'm not going to like her books but I actually really enjoyed all the dangerous things so I definitely want to check out another one from her and this one follows a toxic female friendship I believe and those are like magic words to me I love following a toxic female friendship so I definitely still want to check this one out this is another one that I could definitely listen to on all audio throughout that weekend so it's on the list I don't I'm, there's no way I'm getting to all of these within 48 hours so I'll have to see how I feel when that weekend comes up it is the 24th and the 25th of this month so if you want to join us on Gabby's Patreon I will have it linked below it is seriously so much fun I love it the trivia is all about books also Taylor Swift so like if you are a Swifty you are amongst your people there and it's just truly a blast so I will have all the details linked below if you want to come on her Patreon and check it out also she just does a million other things and it's seriously the best time I will be vlogging that weekend as well so you will definitely get a vlog from the Screaming Color Readathon and you will have to see what I read what my thoughts and feelings are so stay tuned for that while we're talking about videos let's move on to what else I have planned for vlogs this month so one of the other vlogs that I have planned for this month is reading some of my most anticipated I thought it would be fun because every quarter I do my most anticipated books that are coming out for that quarter so I thought it would be fun to do a vlog within that quarter of some of my most anticipated books that way one I'm keeping like up with the books that I want to read and I'm making sure that I'm reading reading the ones on the list but also you're not waiting months and months and months for me to read them and give my thoughts and feelings and that kind of thing it's kind of within the same time period so like I'm giving you the list of books I'm excited about and then I'm doing a vlog reading some of them does that make sense so that's what I'm going to do this month I have some books that are on that list that I have been waiting to read that haven't fit into other video plans and I was like duh just do a vlog read them and here we are so I have four picked out for that vlog the first one is the fury I'm gonna include that in the vlog the second one is no one can know by K. Alice Marshall guys okay I am so nervous for this one now so nervous like I was 
nervous for the fury and like super stoked about this one and now I feel like my feelings have kind of flip-flopped like I'm excited about this one and I'm hella nervous about this one because this has been getting terrible reviews terrible and it's crazy because I love Kate Alice Marshall like I don't think I've disliked a book from her and I've read five or six of her books so far and I have truly loved every single one so for this to be getting such negative reviews it breaks my heart a little bit but also I'm like you know what I'm not gonna take that everyone has their own feelings and opinions I need to know so I'm gonna read it and I'm gonna vlog it so we can go through the experience together and all I know about this one is that we are following three sisters whose parents have died they've all kind of scattered from their hometown after that and now they are coming back together and secrets will be revealed about the night that their parents died that's all I know typically that would be something that I would enjoy so I'm just so curious on why it's getting such negative reviews I don't know if it's the writing if the plot doesn't make sense if the characters are unlikable I have no idea but we're gonna find out together and yeah I'm gonna vlog it so um pray for me <laughs> and then I also have the invocations by Crystal Sutherland she's the same author as the house of hollow which I haven't read it is still on my TBR but this my whole came up at the library and I was like oh my god this is perfect this is a YA horror and the tagline on this is truly all I need to know about it it says three girls one supernatural killer on the loose uh, <gasps> speak my language speak my language this has been getting pretty good reviews so far so I'm really excited about it and the last one I don't have in my hands yet but my hold did come through on the library I just have to go pick it up and it is Tempest of Tea this is a fantasy finally we're getting into some fantasy here um it is a fantasy that is giving like six of crow vibes which makes me a little bit nervous y'all because six of crows i dnf'd it i might give it another chance but i dnf'd it but this is giving like heist it's also giving a little bit of like found family because she kind of has this band of characters that come together um all i know is that she's an orphan it gives those vibes it's also going to be a duology which i just love when fantasy is a duology like you know you're only getting two books it just makes it that much more digestible. So I'm really hoping I love it. I absolutely love this cover so much. This is one that like, if I love it, I'm definitely buying a copy of it because it is absolutely stunning, stunning. I love the newsboy hat that she's wearing the teacup no stop it's perfect it's absolutely perfect so I'm so excited to read that one this month and yeah so those are the four books that I'm planning on including in the vlog if everything goes to plan and then we just have a stack of books that are just ones that I feel in the mood to check out and like plot twist there's romance in here you guys I don't know what it is it might be the weather like me itching for spring but there's just something in me right now that it's like read some romance Kyla and there has been one particular author that has been like in the forefront of my brain for the past couple months saying you should probably check her out i feel like you're gonna really like her writing i feel like you're really gonna like her romance books it's probably not who you think and it's ally hazelwood i have been seeing these covers go around obviously since they came out i mean they've been circulating i haven't read any of her books yet but i'm obsessed with her covers i think they are absolutely gorgeous so i was asking my friends who read romance and who have read from her before like which ones should i check out which one do you think that i would enjoy and everyone just said start with the previous one and work your way forward so i am going to be reading the love hypothesis this month and i'm also going to be reading her newest one or one of her newest ones check and mate this is the ya romance and then the love hypothesis is adult romance obviously i'm just gonna start my way like back there and work my way forward but i figured also this was at the library and the new releases and i was like oh okay i'll just get that while i'm here <laughs> 
so we'll go for two. Why not? And I can't tell you why I feel the need to read them. I honestly can't, other than just I'm obsessed with the covers and I just feel like she is a romance author that I could jive with. So I'm gonna give it a whirl and we're gonna see how it goes. I'm actually very excited about it. I don't know what it is. I, like I said, I feel like it's just like spring is in the air and I'm like, just give me some romance, okay? Just give me some romance. So we're gonna be reading those. And then also I have Butcher and Blackbird by Bryn Weaver to read. This one, if there's any romance that's gonna be up my alley, it's gonna be this one because this is about a romance between two serial killers. I don't need to say anything else. If you know anything about me, you know that that is completely up my street. I do know this book is a little bit unhinged and especially like given the trigger warning page that is literally two pages long and what it includes. I mean, I mean. <laughs> I don't know what I'm getting myself into, but I feel like if there's anyone that's gonna enjoy this book, it's gonna be me. So hopefully I can get to this one this month too. I'm gonna prioritize the other ones first, but I'm also just so excited about this one. And then I just have a stack of books that I just want to read, like no <laughs> nothing else about it. I'm like, I'm just in the mood to read them and why not? So the first one is A Good Day to Pop, whoop, you can't see that, A Good Day to Pie by Misha Pop. This is the second to Magic Lies and Deadly Pies. I read from her in January and absolutely loved it. It's a cozy murder mystery series. This is the second one. The third one is coming out soon so I was like I need to read this. I just love it. I love the covers so much. They're so bright and fun and I just really loved the first one. I thought it was such a fun take on a murder mystery and I just feel like these are also perfect for spring. They're so bright and colorful and they talk a lot about food, which I love in a mystery. And then we have The Broken Girls by Simone St. James. I've been really wanting to dive more into her backlist. I've read The Book of Cold Cases from her and that was just okay. I know that she always includes like a supernatural element to her books and now that I know that, <laughs> I feel like I'm more open to reading some more of her backlist. I've heard good things about this one. I do know that she has a new one coming out this month called Murder Road. I'm also interested in reading that one, but like, we got a lot going on. So I might have to save that one for next month. But yeah, I just picked this one up at the library. It was the only one that was available. I was like, sure, yoink, mine. <laughs> We're gonna read it this month. And then I have The Inheritance of Orchida Divina. This I've heard nothing but incredible things about. This is kind of like a generational fantasy slash mystery about obviously an inheritance. And I've just heard incredible things about this. I know that Lexi from the channel Alexander Ross has raved about this book, said it's so incredible, and that the story is like really gripping, really heartfelt, but also just really gripping and entertaining at the same time, and I'm here for it. I'm obsessed with this cover, and I have been wanting to read this one for a while, so fingers crossed we can make it happen. And then, and then, uh, this one actually could be included in Screaming Color too, but like, I just don't think that's gonna happen. I'm just gonna have to read it at some point. It needs to happen this month, you guys. I keep saying it and putting it off because I don't want it to be over. That's all I'm gonna say about that. And then lastly, I have another graphic novel. This is Bloom by Kevin Panetta and Savannah Ganuchu. Ooh, I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. This I've seen going around recently I was perusing the library and saw it and I was like, you know what, why not? I've heard this being compared to Heartstopper, which like, I mean, Heartstopper just has my whole heart, but if anything gives those vibes, I wanna read it. And I also know that one of the characters in here is a baker. So we have lots of talk of baking in here, which just is like perfect. And I feel like it gives the vibe that I want right now. And it just sounds so fun. I also just love how like this artwork is just all blue. I don't know, there's something about it that I'm like really drawn to for some reason. So I'm really excited. This is kind of, the cover gives like summer vibes. So maybe I'm just like really wishing the warm weather into my life right now. That is all of the books <laughs> I have 
plan to read in the month of March. To be honest, I picked a lot of books that were going to be very quick reads because the past couple months I have been reading some very thick books. Some very thick books. And I am just ready to read some quick snappy things. So that's kind of what I did here. I was like, what is it that's going to like books that are easy for me to like not fly through because I don't want to like read just to read a number but books that are going to be quick that I'll still really enjoy but maybe I can read just a little bit more this month just a little bit you know just a little bit more anywho let me know in the comments what you plan on reading this month what book are you most excited for have you read any of these should i prioritize some more than others are you here for my romance era is that a thing that is going to happen i don't know i'm not promising anything but i'm also really excited for ally hazelwood for just whatever reason i can't explain it i cannot explain it if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up do not forget to subscribe if you are not already turn the bell so you never miss a video and i will see you in my next one bye with you and i the future